Hello folks, um, just thought I'd just do a quick little talk, chat um, just to fill you in on what's been happening. So uh, basically, um, I've been busy on the boat doing some painting. Um, I've had to avoid the boat during the uh, really hot weather, because it's, it's just been too hot, but that's only when we've been getting into the 30s, you know, and then 40s. Um, the 20s is okay. Um, still loving it on the boat. It's, it's great. Um, and yeah, I've been quite inspired with my artwork. I've um, done lots of, uh, of floral studies. I've been combining my traditional um, uh, techniques with my digital um, one of the ways what I've been doing is when I first compose a composition you know for, uh, for flowers and that for my paintings um, what I do is when it's all drawn out um, I draw it initially I'll draw it in pencil then when I'm happy I'll, I'll go over in pen and um, and then I'm, sometimes I may add some more stuff in pencil but when I, when the things complete I make sure I take a photo um, and the photo enables me to then um, create duplicates well that's not strictly true it allows me to play around with colour, um, so I'll I'll approach uh, watercolour uh, techniques differently, um, or I might change the colours of the flowers. So that's been really good, um, and I've got. I'm just trying to think where I've put them. Let me just. Uh, oh, oh yeah, here we are. Just to give you kind of some uh, examples here. So, can you see that? So that was my latest one. Now this is, it, it's been printed on, the outline was printed on watercolour paper, but it was, um, but it's been, uh, painted traditionally with watercolour and I've got different approaches you can see these are all ready to be um, well I say ready to be sold but um, it depends if anyone wants to buy them but um, these are I'm selling these for £10 um, plus postage and uh, so this just gives you an idea, this is the same um, piece of artwork where I started with and I've and it's come out in different colour combinations. my favourite ones. Now, along the, uh, when I was creating all these pieces, um, I did pick up on mistake and uh, then I, rather than, even though it was kind of um, not the original, um, I wanted to correct it, so that's what I, one or two of those, the centre of the flower is different to what it should be, or my interpretation of what it should be, but uh, anyway, I'm happy um, with what's happened, it's been great. Now. I'm spending a lot, as, as well as creating the pieces now, I'm um, 
obviously, because I'm new to watercolour, I, I only started water, watercolour this year, so I'm still playing around and I'm not doing it as other watercolours, watercolourists would use watercolour. Um, it's going to take me a while to uh, find what I'm happy with, but I quite enjoy what I'm doing at the minute. But there's always ideas going through my head and uh, I just want to have fun. And I, it's not always about creating the same work as what other people. It's creating your own style. So that's what I've been having fun with. Um, I've now got, you can't see it in this video, but I've got everything what I need pretty well. Um, watercolour, uh, different papers, watercolour paper, acrylic paper. Um, I've got a mounts, a uh, mount, um, mat card, I've got, uh, well, I don't know whether you can see, but everything's in plastic containers and it's labelled up. I've got myself an A3, uh, A3 scanner for um, artwork here. And uh, I've got things ready to play around with, which haven't even been opened yet. For instance, pastel pencils. Um, so uh, I'm going to be I'm going to be trying all sorts of things in the future, and uh, now and again you'll see uh, a little video like this showing what I've been up to. Um, when I when I do watercolor, I've been playing around with different types of um, watercolor, i.e traditional watercolour pans, tubes, but also you've got other things, you've got your watercolour pencils, um, you've got um, water-based pens, and then you've got things like um, uh, it starts off in a watercolour effect but then it will um, turn Permanent. So when you go, if you go to re, to work over what you've already put, um, it's not going to affect the colour. And that, and I'm just coming. Oh no, there, there's that's <laughs> something different again. Um, yeah, I'll just show you an example of these. This ink tense. Now, ink tense is something which I've been exploring in the colour pencil. Um, the the um, the paints and uh, and I like it uh, so yeah so I've been trying different things and uh, and obviously they all it all depends the result on what you're painting on if you you could do the same painting on two different types of well yeah uh, on say 10 different types of paper and you'll get different results on them all so uh, and even like me if you make a mistake say for instance you're working on a watercolour paper and you've got the grain and that and uh, but you made a mistake and you've put the because I print the outline on the printer but you've done it on the wrong side and and you only realize later um, the results will be different from one side of the paper to the other, which is I thought was quite interesting. And uh, yeah, so basically that's it, folks. Just wanted to talk a bit about the art. Oh, one other thing. I don't know. Some of you may, some of you may wonder how you can paint and that and draw when you're on a boat which moves around a little. Let me tell you, on a narrow boat that's fixed in a marina, um, you don't really notice. There's only slight movement in the water. And, uh, unless you've got, looking out the window at a boat next to you, where you can see the roof, you don't really uh, come across it. Now, it, when you've got gales blowing, depending on where your boat's uh, moored, um, there can be a bit more movement. But um, 
on the drawing side and that, I can't say really that it's affected me. But uh, we'll make a note of it um, this autumn come winter and see, uh, see whether that does cause a problem or not. Um, the other thing, one thing what you do have to be aware of, if the boat's swaying slightly or if it's leaning slightly, um, then any water what you've put in a in a um, a vessel, you know, a cup or whatever to use with your watercolour, and that um, isn't going to be level. So it, it you you know you don't fill right up. Um, you make sure it's a bit lower, and that goes if the boat's swaying a bit, the water might move a little. So that's just something to be aware of. But it's something that doesn't hasn't uh, bothered me so far. And uh, so that's it then, folks. That's just my quick little video, just to make, just to tell you, I'm still out here. I'm still being creative. Um, if you want to keep in touch more regularly, then WhatsApp is the way to go, um, or Facebook Messenger. Um, but WhatsApp is my preferred method because then I can. Uh, I'll get to see you quickly and I won't miss anything. Okay, bye for now.